The answer to this is 73. You can pause the video and see if you can get the solution to it. Let's get to the work. We are asked to solve for 9 over 5 multiplied by A plus B and A and B are what? They are real numbers. So let's go ahead and do the need for. So we are asked to solve for 9 over 5 multiplied by A plus B is equal to 0. Okay, first let's reduce this or let's simplify the question itself. So we are going to say let square root of A equal to X. So this simply means that x squared will give us a right. Um, similarly, let square root of b be equal to y. That means that b is equal to y squared. Okay. All right. Now, we have to substitute this, these values into these equations. Okay. So if we do that, we have our a to be equal to x squared. So we are going to write x squared multiplied by a multiplied by root a sorry which is x all right plus b which is y squared multiplied by root b which is y is equal to 183 let's call this equation one or before that because we are still we are still going to simplify this further then the second one will give us b is what y squared so y squared multiplied by root a which is x okay plus um what is our a our a is what x squared x squared multiplied by what is root b root b is y is equal to 182 so that means that we can rewrite this as what for this we have x squared multiplied by x we give us x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3 is equal to 183 let's call this equation one all right, similarly, we can write x, y squared, okay? x, y squared plus x squared, y, x squared, y is equal to 182. Let's call this equation 2. Okay, now, we have equation 1 as this and we have equation 2 as this. Now, let's do this x plus y raised to the power of 3. Why are we doing this? Because if you expand this, you are going to have x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3 plus 3x three squared y plus 3y squared x. This is what you are going to get. And we have visually everything we need here. Okay? So let's go ahead and substitute that. So we have x plus y to the power of 3 is equal to x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3 is 183. Okay? So we have 183 plus, this can be simplified for that as 3 brackets, x squared y plus y squared x, okay? So we have um, x plus y to the power of 3 is equal to 183 plus 3 brackets, x squared y plus y squared x, we give us, this is it, we give us 182, x squared y plus y squared x, let me come here x squared y plus y squared x which is exactly what we have here is 182 so 182 so we have x plus y to the power of 3 is 183 plus 3 times 2 is 6 3 times 8 is 24 carry to 3 times 1 is 3 plus this is 54 okay so we have x plus y to the power of 3 is equal to 6 plus 3 is 9, 4 plus 8 is 12, carry 1, 5 plus 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So we are going to have that x plus y to the power of 3 is equal to 729. So that means that if we want to get x plus y, that means we are going to do what? We have to take the cube root of both sides of this equation. And cube root of this will give us x plus y, y cube root of this will give us 9 okay all right so we have x plus y is equal to nine let's call this equation three if this is the first time you're coming across this channel please subscribe to the channel on your notification bell and uh, comment like and share okay let me know what you feel about what i'm doing thank you so much so we now have that x plus y is equal to nine right okay now recall that in equation two this is our equation 2. We have equation 2 as x, y squared plus x squared y, which we can still simplify further, right? Yes. So we can say from 2, permit me to explain this. So from 2, 
from equation two okay equation two says that x squared y plus y squared x is equal to 182 if we simplify this further you notice that we still have x y right and x squared y divided by x y will give us what x plus y squared x divided by x y we still give us y is equal to 182 now why am i doing this because we have already found the value of x plus y which is 9 so we can substitute it here to get x y is that understood so we now have x y bracket 9 is equal to 182 so this simply means that x y is 182 divided by 9 right yeah let's call this equation 4 all right now we have everything we need yes so let's go ahead and from equation three from three from three okay three says x plus y is equal to nine if we should square both sides okay square both sides of this equation that is x plus y squared should be nine squared right so x plus y squared is if we should expand this we are going to have the algebra identity is what x squared plus y squared plus 2xy right is equal to what 81 okay um now we have everything we need here can you see that yes we have everything we need here we have x squared plus y squared is equal to what sorry plus two brackets now what is our x y x y is one eight two over nine 182 divided by 9 is equal to what 81 can you see that don't worry we are very close to our solution and i say very close i mean very close ah i've cleaned something here but nevertheless 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 we still bring it in okay so what i cleaned here is we said let um square root of a be equal to x right that means x squared is equal to a and square root of b be equal to y that means y squared is equal to b this is what i cleaned okay now this is what we have here let's start from there x squared plus y squared plus two brackets 182 divided by 9 is equal to 81 okay now let's transfer this to this side of the equation so we have x squared plus y squared plus 2 times 182 we give us what 2 times 2 is 4 2 times 8 is 16 carry 1 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 so we have 364 over 9 is equal to 81 okay we don't need all these ones again let's go ahead and solve so we now have that x squared plus y squared is equal to 81 minus 364 divided by 9, right? Yeah, so this is all we have now. All right, so we have x squared plus y squared is equal to, this is over 1. Now, the LCM of 1 and 9 is 9. When 1 divides 9, we have 9. 9 times 81, let's solve. 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 8 is um 72, right? So it's going to be 729. All right, so we have 7 to 9 minus 9 divided by 9 is 1. 1 times this is 3, 6, 4. All right, so we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 7 to 9 minus 3, 6, 4. 9 minus 4 is 5. 12 minus 6 is 6. 6 minus 3 is 3 over 9. All right, now back to our question. The question says we should find... This is what we are asked to find. We are asked to find 9 over 5 multiplied by a plus b, right? Now, recall that x squared is equal to a. You can see that. And y squared is equal to b. That means we can replace this as what? a plus b is equal to what? 365 divided by 9. All right. So if we should now substitute what we have here into this place, we are asked to find 9 over 5, right? 9 over 5 multiplied by a plus b and our a plus b 365 over 9 365 divided by 9 now 9 we divide itself we have 1 5 we divide 36 we have 7 remainder 1 divide 15 we have 3 
there you have it thank you so much for watching have a lovely day